Now, live from Artie's Cut Rate Liquor Store, Shooting Range, Candle Shop, Bowling Alley, Massage Parlor, it's the Dave and Doc Podcast. Hello, hello. Man, we're back. We are back. We're getting the band back together. That's right. Been a couple weeks. Man, been missing it a little bit. I know. This is this is our fun time and we've fired up and yeah, couldn't get it <laughs> couldn't get it together, man. <laughs> Stuff kept happening. It is episode <laughs> 78 of the David Dog podcast. I'm Dave and I am Doc. All things Dave and Doc right there on our website if you please and that's www.daveanddoc.com. Dave A and D Doc D O C Dot com in your favorite friendly browser. You Browse right, safely. You went right after it. Oh, yeah, man. It's good. Quick update. My Vols are up 62, top of the sixth. Just saying. The Vols. Now, that is a sports organization, correct? Damn right. Okay. Just I, I don't know. I said it's great to be a Tennessee Vol. I said it's great to be a Tennessee Vol. Florida State's in the regional, too, aren't they? <laughs> I think they played earlier today. They Yeah, they are. Are they? I thought they were. They're uh, yeah. They so at? baseball and softball looking good this year for the. Uh, Where are they at? For the Knowles. Did they win? The Knowles. I don't know. I, I can't didn't find it. I didn't look. Oh, are they in it? Yeah, no, they're. I, I know they're in it. Did they play? What the they heck? finished ranked like seventh in the country or something. I'm uh, the, maybe. Oh. I'm I not sure. Know. I don't know. Oh, there, yeah, there they are. Oh, they beat Stetson. There's <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> Whoop that cologne's a hand. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway. Howdy, man. <laughs> anyway, that's good. That's good. All right, y'all are doing good. All right. Want to make sure you see my shirt here. I, I'm not going to stand up, but the... Uh, I thought you were standing d- d- up. D- <laughs> <laughs> right? Sorry. It's been, it's been a minute. Standing at four foot seven inches tall. <laughs> uh, death do all but metal. My new Steel Panther shirt. It came today, so... Oh, man, that's yeah. like magic. Yeah. Well, so, I have... I know you're representing. You're representing. Because we hadn't, we hadn't been... We hadn't been after it in a minute. I, I just sat down on my keys. Oh, I'm just going to tell you that did not feel awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit to the left and that we'd have been having to have a Paxton's discussion. Paxton's got some sav in there if you need it before you leave. <laughs> so you can. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, listen, you just rub, that just right rub a little the, bit on. That's right it. around the starfish. <laughs> Bennett now he he'll go ooh, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> it's like that doesn't feel right. What are you doing? Don't don't What's touch. What's happening? Yeah. He's there. like don't don't. <coughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> How you been, man? Man, I'm gonna tell you, it's been rough. It, we, we you know we're, we're going to get into all of it, but but so so we're not in the dog days of summer yet. But speaking of dogs, we got to talk about your dog. <sighs> Interesting Facebook post went out this week. Yeah. Dog found a loving home long, long of the short, yeah. short of the long story. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. But I'm going to do some dog jokes just because I felt like that was what we needed to do. Okay. All right. Um, so it's, 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 you know, the dog days of summer don't start till around July 3rd, but we're going to go ahead and go for it because of the dog. Okay. Yep. All right. So let me know when you're ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> All right. What do you call a great dog detective? What? Sherlock Bones. Well, of course. Right? Why was the dog sweating so much? <laughs> PCP? <laughs> I don't know. Whap! <laughs> she was a hot dog. Uh, of course. <sighs> oh, what kind of dog likes having a bath every day? What guy? A shampoodle. A shampoodle. <laughs> Tramp, right? <laughs> <laughs> How are a dog and a marine biologist alike? I feel like I could figure this one out, but go ahead. One wags a tail and the other tags a whale. Well, there you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> the sea was angry that day, my friends. <laughs> George Costanza. Oh, um, what kind of dog chases anything red? What's that? A bulldog. Oh. Of course. What did the dog say when he sat on some sandpaper? Oh, 
<laughs> we'll just, no, okay. We'll just leave it. In okay. There. All right. <laughs> That's rough. Rough. <laughs> I just tried to put myself in the dog's shoes. Why was the dog stealing shingles? <laughs> Why? And we're not talking about the herpes. Oh, hang on. He was building a woof. Close. He wanted to become a woofer. Ah. I knew it. Wooly watches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why was the dog upset? Why? He was going through a rough pooch. It was. It's, it's rough. It's rough. And what's a dog's favorite breakfast dish? I'm sad. A woofle. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> That wasn't really good. That did that. Mm. What do you do if your dog chews a dictionary? <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say there. Uh, what? <laughs> Go to the ER. I don't know. Take the words out of his mouth. Oh, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> if your course. dog chews something else. Mm. Bad day, my friend. Bad day. <laughs> Bad day. I bite him in the nuts. <laughs> Not a good day. No. Was that the last one? I don't, I don't know. Was that it? That's so bad. None of the... the yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. No, we're, we're going to call it. Okay. We're going to call it. Um, oh, what do you call a cold dog? What's that? A chili dog. Of course. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. That's that's enough. Officially, is that... We're, we're going to call it. Right. We're calling All it right, right now. Um, before we get into talking about dogs, because <laughs> this is going to get a little rough... Uh, Speaking of bitches, I right? did. I did want to take uh, um, time to talk about uh, Bill Walton, who actually, beat, oh man, yeah, beat Florida State in the national championship when he was at UCLA. As a matter that? of fact, the Knowles uh, uh, went against uh, Walton and uh, the Bruins. Uh, he won two NBA championships. Died at the age of seventy-one. One, yep. yeah, had prostate cancer. Had prostate cancer. Been pretty quiet about it for the most part. Kind of disappeared from TV several years ago. Uh, was a great announcer, actually. I thought he was a great color commentary guy. And actually, he'd been he had been on even up till yeah, this that's year. True. So what what they were doing? He would usually do the West Coast games because he didn't travel. That's as much. right. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so he would call those late night. But then in March, like he just kind of disappeared. Yeah. And it was like, what happened? And then obviously he was he'd been actively dying unfortunately for a while and and not much talk about it and i think that announcement came out on monday i think he died yeah. on monday um but uh it was interesting to hear different people talk about bill walton and some people like had a lot of great things to say some people said he was a 100% asshole uh, <laughs> which that was, surprises me i mean cuz well actually it doesn't he I, had I, a very dominant personality though like, and you know, and very quick and yes, and and like to be a smart aleck, mm -hmm. but at the same time would tell the truth. Yeah, and so if you don't like that, then you think he's a jerk. It's like actually he's just really smart, and he's speaking the truth, and he kind of got you <laughs> because he's yeah, just right. he's quicker than you. Yeah. Um, I think that, and and again, I don't know how people, you know, some people really love Jay Billis. Jay Billis wrote a great article um, on on Bill Walton and yeah. just talked about how much fun he was. He would call him Jake yeah. on purpose. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, you're on a nationally televised game, and he's calling Jay Billis Jake because that's what he freaking wants to do. I think that's awesome. I do too. I think um, it's fun. You know, and just talking about how well prepared he always was, and just how much fun and. You know, he said, I try to talk about something. He's like, save it for the broadcast, Jake. Like, kind of like what you say to me when I'm fired up. Yeah, You're like, yeah. save it, shake yeah. for the, for the <laughs> dake. I just said it like 40 <laughs> minutes ago. As a matter of fact, I'm like, whoa, 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 let's save this. I know, man. It's a shame. You know, it's it, it just makes you wonder why, you know, the, these, you know, these interesting characters. Um, but not just that. I mean, I mean, obviously, family members, loved ones, friends. You know, that, that gone too soon. 
Well, you start thinking and you just about, wonder about that. You start thinking about your own mortality too. Oh gosh, at yeah. least I do because I see people die that I just never thought would die. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's like big sneeze. You know, like like you know John Madden, right? It's like John Madden dies. Yeah. I'm like, well, that no, that's not supposed to happen, <laughs> right? That should never. Happen. You know, I mean, Al Michaels is getting up there. And it's like no, Jim Nance is not young. No, Jim Nance is not young. Even Vern though- Lundquist. Yeah, right. And I mean, <laughs> you that guy. Expect- Vern might be a thousand years old. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, we we lost Bobby Bowden. We've lost, you know, I mean, there's just there's, uh, it's more people than I can think of. DMX. <laughs> we Eddie Money. <laughs> He was a real artist. Uh, we lost Eddie Money, and you know, but it's like, <laughs> ding, you know. So I mean, it's like no, it 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 just makes you, it it you know, it makes you appreciate their time. It, but it also does. It's it's like we're none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. No, and I just I mean, where you're just not. And, and every time somebody like this dies, it just reminds me of like you know, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not getting younger either. You know, true. Although I am the picture of health. That's right. Take a picture. That's my nose is running. Um, Better go catch it. (laughs) Um, So you are the picture of health. So dogs. No visible skin cancer. No, no, none, none. Um, Let's talk dogs. Okay. Um, The dogs. The dog. 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 Would you like to talk about your dog? Dog. Dog. I'm I'm down with whatever, man. Okay. So so maybe we should talk about your dog first. Okay. We do that. I'll be happy. No longer your dog. No. So we got a we got a young labradoodle, golden doodle, golden mini, doodle, mini golden, mini golden doodle. Yeah. So we, so we we one of one by of, the name of uh, originally uh, Leia, <laughs> Le- like Princess Leia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for Princess Leia. Up in the Himalaya, um, come on, I want a Leia. So we had so who sang that? Le- I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I was I was going on with the story. <laughs> sorry, it's Ricky Martin. <laughs> okay, yeah, I wouldn't have known that. Um, <coughs> he's he's living la vida loca uh, with his Shh. cocaine habit. Um, what I don't know if he has a cocaine habit. He should if he doesn't. Please, Ricky, do some cocaine. So one of Landon's friends came over and they had purchased one of these dogs and 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 the dad brought the dog with him just you know j- just to ride with him and we're like oh you know you, you know he's cute and all this and we you know we looked it up and it was hypoallergenic oh yeah golden doodles are great they don't shed and so we said you know maybe it'd be good for Paxton it'd be good for the boy Stevens wanted a dog forever so we started seriously talking about it so Lindsay reaches out to the breeder and says yeah yeah we've got some dogs left and you know showed us pictures and like oh there's a little girl and we like she had a cute little face and I'm like that's the one the princess that's the one princess yeah was she already named Leia or did no, she no 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 because they, she's because she's the princess she wasn't named uh oh, we, we went goodness. through a couple different names I wanted to name her Montana um and we went around with some names like Montana Fishburne uh no uh but there was um and so we came up with with Leia. So anyway, so the boys named her. So we drive to Kentucky, an hour and forty five minute drive to go pick up this dog, and also paid a generous amount of money for said dog. Um, are you bored? No. Like, wait, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just this is my background. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are you going to do that the whole time? Because. I'll go in the other room. Uh, <laughs> the show died. <laughs> yeah. I, no. A little confused what was no, going just, on there. Just my background noises. Sorry. So, I, I'm a little rusty. So so we go so we go to Kentucky. So we went to Kentucky. Like Where in Kentucky? Hour, Where'd you go? I forget. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> London? London, <coughs> Yeah, Kentucky? London. Yeah, yeah It's like an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ate at the Dairy Queen. Yeah. The town there. The Arby's there is really good, uh, too. Got a chicken strip basket. There you go. I made the mistake of getting it... Uh, it's get got, it hot. These 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 fucking people, at Dairy Queen man. So listen, so the chicken strip basket used to just be a, a, a fucking chicken strip basket, right? Now they got all these options. You can get the you can get flavors on the chicken, right? Oh, and it's called I didn't know that. It's called it's called uh, bacon shake or something like that. And I said I'll take a chicken strip basket, but let me get the the barbecue. shake the shake like the shake and bake. It's it's not no 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 because you can't do that because that's patented. I guess. no no no. It's it's called something else, but. <clears throat> it's like the it was like barbecue, and I said, 
I want the barbecue. And he says, do you want that, whatever he said, bacon shake? And I couldn't understand what he said. And I'm like, what the hell? What are you talking about? So is it about? the breading? So no, they just, they just toss it. It was, that was what it was. It was sauce and toss. That's what it was. He said sauce and toss. I know what the hell he's talking about. Like Lindsay had to say, I think he's asking you, do you want the sauce? I'm like, well, that's why I ordered the barbecue one. Cause that's the only way you can get it. You jackass. Anyway, not the most intelligent person. How many? <laughs> like garlic Parmesan. Um, so it's just wing flavors, basically. Ray, but it's Ray, chicken Ray strips. Reggae meth. But it's, <laughs> I don't know. There's like a couple, but yeah. Delta it's, 8. It's Delta 8. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. The dispensary's <laughs> right next door. Honey Boo Boo. Got the green. So I, yeah, so Honey anyway. Boo Boo. So that I'm, would be the best. Ben and Jerry's flavor, Honey Boo Boo. So I made the mistake of ordering the barbecue one, and it wasn't great. But oh. anyway, but we were excited because we we're going to get the dog, right? No, I get that. So we get there, we pick up the dog. <laughs> dog jumps out of the breeder's arms into mine. Like, this is meant to be. This dog loves me already. So excited. Yeah. She slept all the way home. Every once in a while, she got up and licked me in the face and went back to sleep. The sweetest little dog, right? Yeah. Bring her home. The boys are excited. And we said, here's the deal. It's, it's a puppy, right? So you guys are going to have to take shifts watching the dog, and at night she'll sleep, and we got a little crate for her to sleep in, right? Just to sleep in. The rest of the day she's running around. And so we're doing fine, and this dog slept all night. You put her in the, the crate about 9 o'clock, she'd sleep till like 8 the next morning, right? Just out. I'm trying to figure where this went wrong. Here's where it goes wrong. Okay. You know it's a puppy. Yeah. Okay, all right. So... All right. And you got to take them out about every hour. Oh, yay. Right? Oh, yay. Or and she had a few accidents. But oh, yay. She was already to the point where she was going to the door. Right. At least trying to let you know. Yeah. And like okay. sometimes That's pretty it was, good. And sometimes it was like she'd go to the door and then it would happen. How it's old? Like, how old? Uh, nine weeks. Okay. All right. Super small, but doing really good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and it, kids are just... When I was growing up, I didn't have the option. Like, my parents didn't like dogs, didn't like animals, and you just didn't have the option. Or gardens. Or gardens. No, no gardens. And and so, like, I just kind of felt like, okay, we're going to go buy this expensive dog. It wasn't cheap. No, they're um, not cheap. Uh, 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 you know, there were zeros there <laughs> in this number. <laughs> and, you know, we drive to Kentucky to get this dog, and then, of course, we... Uh, this is what we do when we buy something. We buy all the accessories, right? So we had everything. We had toys and <coughs> you name it, right? Dog had everything, right? Lindsay bought little bows to go in its hair and everything. And we like, got all these, these these retractable leashes and, I don't know, probably $500 worth of shit to go along with this dog. Got it. And honest, I just, kids are different today, man. And I'm trying to be nice, but like, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. And it's just, it was kind of a family decision that wasn't my decision. Um, that it's like, you know, this is a lot of work. Well, yeah. You, you knew that going in. Yeah, it is. Dog, and, dog life, hard life. And again, you're to talking quote, to quote the whales. And you're talking about evermore. A, you're talking about the dog, a dog that was already going to the door. That's pretty, like, I mean, that's pretty good, man. I, and, and everybody said golden <laughs> doodles are really smart. Like potty training them, it takes work, but once they're potty trained, you're you're golden, waka waka. And so just one day out of the blue, I was told, Yeah, we're not gonna keep the dog anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That hurts your feelings. Yeah. I see it. It did. No, I was I mean, we were all getting really attached to the dog. And you know, and I mean, I didn't take care of her that much, right? Because I'm gone. I'm at work. But like at night when I would come home, it was cool to see the dog. She's happy to see me. She's happy to see the kids. She was great with people coming over. We had another dog come over. And so I don't understand. So I mean, I mean, was it like, I don't understand what was so... Because other... I mean, once you get... It was thing, too much work for the kids. <clears throat> they were taking time out of their summer because they had to watch the dog. That's the reason. Yeah. And I'm still not happy about it. And mm. so I, I went through all the emotions. I'm like, so let me understand this. <laughs> so we dropped. So you started with anger first. <laughs> the, yeah, I went right to anger. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get this out the so way. I said, so let me understand this. So we drove to fucking Butlick, Kentucky 
and and <laughs> bought a dog. And it's not like we paid twenty dollars for the dog. Okay, this is an expensive dog that we that we dropped some money on. Yes, brought it home, bought all the shit, ran all the things, and spent a week and a half with this dog. And now it's just too much for us. It's just too much. It's just too much. It's just too hard. So it wasn't even because like the potty training is hard. Like I mean, we of we course. dealt with that with Buddy, our, our our double doodle, so Labradoodle and Golden Doodle, yeah, mixed. So he's mutt. I mean, you know, and that was not easy. And and he's got some anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was and 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 possessive of his food and stuff. So okay, yeah. So, but but we you know but we we made it through that. He was he doing pretty good. The hard thing with him was when friends would come over, like little people. He was not. He was kind of possessive of the kid of like our kids. Yeah, and stuff. And so we were like, that's not going to work because friends may come over to swim. It's not a different terrible things. thing though, right? Well, no, 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 no. I mean, and you know so I mean? so we sent him to training for yeah. a month, and he's come back, and and I mean, he's. And I mean, he's also a month older, but I mean, he's, he, he, the anxiety is still in there, but, but he is a lot better. He did growl at Bennett once though. And I thought Mama was going to get him. <laughs> Mama's Mama, you know, she, <laughs> she keeps those emotions in check, but he did, he kind of growled and she's like, uh, Nope, <laughs> buddy. If you bite Bennett's arm, you're gonna see something. <laughs> I don't know what that something was, but but that's what she said to the dog. And I was, that's beautiful. She said you're gonna see something. I was like, I'm thinking she means heaven, um, but you know, maybe or, or there might be something worse. Uh, but you know, but he he's never he's never bit him. You know, anyway, and other than that, and that was the day we got him back. But he's he's on a he's on an e collar now. Yeah. The thing goes up to a hundred five, and and if he if he doesn't follow the command, and and I swear, and then he jumps right in and does the command. It's like it just breaks him from whatever. But I mean, he listens way better now. You know, he very much easily potty trained. Have to make sure we feed him. Yeah. Um. But he, you know, he goes to his water dish still, and he'll flip it upside down if he, you know. So I mean, even if and, and crayed him last night, he slept all night and didn't make sound. That was not happening before. He he would rather not be in the crate and be with us. See, Leia made no noise. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> and Callan's out there trying to train him. I yeah. mean, she was training him this morning. I had to go outside and talk to we we were having some people do some work at our house. I was having to talk to them. Laura had taken Bennett to to his uh, uh, swim. Nini's swim babies, little plug. Nini's swim baby, swim float, go. swim, survival swim. She's excellent. Um, anyway, and so I had to go talk to them. And Callan had the dog, had him on the leash, which we we're actually doing without the leash because he's got the collar. But she put him on the leash and she was working with him. Yeah. And that's not a. Ooh, you also have to realize that's Callan. Callan's what she does, right? You know, right. Meanwhile, Kate was like, "Daddy, where are you?" <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, she couldn't care less. <laughs> Bennett tries to train the dog; he just can't do. It. But but literally, you know, came back a different dog. Now we paid for the training and and stuff, but you know, I hate that man because I, I you wanted to keep the dog. I, I really did because I mean, dogs are really therapeutic too, right? I mean, they are theoretically. You know, and, Theoret- theoretically, yes. You know, and theoretically, yes. It was, I, I think, eventually would have been good for Paxton. Paxton really loved the dog right now, but she's also a puppy. And it so was she, brand new. And she wants to play. And, you know, he'd only seen her, <coughs> you know, about 13 times total. Right. No, so, that, I mean, that's the, you know, in the beginning, I mean, it's work, man. I mean, so, I mean, it's, it is straight up work. So after it was decided, we put a post, or Lindsay put a post uh, on Facebook about the dog, and we had, um, Several people that reached out um, and and found somebody that uh, their dog, uh, they had two dogs and one dog had gotten really old and died. And it was a golden doodle as well. And so their other dog was a little sad. 
and they were said, hey, you know, and they, they came over and brought the little boy and, you know, and the little boy was running around playing in our house, which is great. I love it. The kids just come over here and get on toys and go. It's like your kids. It's like, yeah, just go. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's what need. we do here. <laughs> That's what they do. It's what we do here. We're so, the kids. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so, and, and you know, Leia, like, went right to him, and there was no problem and everything. And then she sent us some videos to show us, and... Leia and the other dog are best friends now. She said they're inseparable. They're playing around. So <clears throat> that's awesome. Uh, so the dog's in good shape, right? The dog's already forgot about this goof nut family she lived with for about a week and a half. But the point to me was we made, we, we went through all this hassle to get said dog. Yeah, man. And that's... then made it through that first week, which is usually pretty tough. Yes. She dog was, life, hard life, and man. She wasn't, and she, she slept all night. And, and it's like, there's, I, I don't understand. And so, and then we, and then we, you know, then we have to get rid of the dog. And like, I don't know, I've just been absolutely disgusted after that. I'm like, I just, you know what? I, I, you know, try not to be an asshole about it, but like, it's hard not to be an asshole about it. It's like, you drag me to butt lick Kentucky again, you know, to buy a dog and we bring it home. And then all of a sudden family decision. Without including you in the discussion. Well, I tried to just, I tried to bring, my, I tried to take myself out of it because I work all the time. So I'm not around. So it's hard for me to like get in the middle of those decisions because it's like, okay. Yeah. But you know, this gets back to where did the capital actually, ar- I'm going oh. to get in trouble for this. Oh no, listen, 100% out of my pocket. So I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Now again, these people paid us money for the dog. I don't want to. I don't want to seem like we just gave. No, 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 no. And we, and we no, would no, have given her away, but no, we no. did not sell her for what we paid for her. So I get it. It was an. It was a. No, it was no, a it. net loss. Right. <laughs> and see, we got Buddy for free. Yeah, Buddy was free. The training, however, the training was not. <laughs> the training was not. <laughs> Lindsay and Laura talked about the price yeah. of the training. The training Ooh. was not. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Um. And I, and again, I think I th- he's he's like he is he is a different dog. He's a different. But dog. don't you think your kids are better I'm, off having a dog around though? Oh, they, oh yeah, they you love know, you him. Know what I mean, Kate I mean, was, that's the Kate was laying in the floor with him this morning, and yeah. like they were they were it was like one of those cute pictures where they're yeah. side by side and they're looking at each other's eyes. Yeah, you know, I and just, and and she's just sitting there, and then she'll kind of love on him and snuggle with him, and he puts his little paw. Oh yeah. And then Cal and the general got him out there doing work, you know, teaching him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I and just, then Bennett just tries to eat him or whatever. He, you know, he's a little too rough, so we're well, working I mean, on I that. Got, but again, I, no, I mean, he he when he gets up in the morning, yeah, you know, yeah. He, he, this is what he did before, you know, Buddy went away. He, ooh, yeah. And he'll go, Bud. <laughs> Bud, I want to go wise. <laughs> and then get somebody go, Arr. Arr. you know, <clears throat> yeah, he'll go, Bud. Wise. He went, Arr. I, but it's just, you know, I, we all I started, we all started getting attached to the dog and like, she was the friendliest dog <laughs> and super sweet. And like, she loved laying between the boys, right? The two, the two bigger boys. I mean, that sounds like they like... would sit on the love seat and she'd sit in the middle of them. And if one of them got up, she would start whining because they got up. <laughs> That's a pretty calm dog, man. I, I, I mean, it's like, I felt like we hit the jackpot with the, do- oh, it's just, it's just, it's just oh, oh God, it's just. Oh, so hard. Oh, I had to get up and go to work every day. Oh my God. It just <laughs> yeah. it just yeah. I mean it just pisses. That's all you can say. I'm so it glad just, we brought this up. It just pisses me off. I'm man. so glad. I, I'm so I'm still upset about it. I'm still a little raw, as you can tell. Man, I would be too. Um it's like I, I it's like I didn't I didn't want to get rid of this dog. Like I don't I don't understand. The dog the other thing, our dog. Because it's like tail of two dogs. <laughs> Our dog started out rough, so the dog loves me now. <clears throat> Whereas before, I feel like there was like this competition. Oh no, now, yeah. I mean, he was he was Laura's dog. Yeah. Now, now I'm getting some love, <clears throat> and, I'm give, and I'm giving yeah. him and I'm giving him some love back because he's he's much better behaved, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's the thing. We started out with a great dog. Like there was no. I know, man. That's, was so that's bad. Calm and like she, Landon, I'm calling you out. On this podcast, that is weak sauce, dude. It is, Stephen. Just... You, you like a, almost a grown man. Stephen was fine with the dog. Oh, Landon. So, Landon. But I don't think Lindsay wanted the dog either, though. Lindsay, 
I don't, I, I, I just, I don't understand. It's like, my, here's my, here's my point. It's like, okay, it, this is like buying concert tickets, right? <laughs> All right. Let's say, let's say you're going to go see the Rolling Stones, right? And let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to pay $500 a piece for tickets to go see the Stones, right? That's how much it costs. Uh, you know how if, I know? If, I've checked on it. I will say, if not more, depending on depending where on your venue seats, and where you're right, sitting. Where your yes. seats are. You at. go see them in Madison Square Garden, you're dropping $2,500 <coughs> for crap. <coughs> so you go Dang. see the Stones, you're going to drop some money, right? That's like paying money to go see the Stones, and you're planning I a whole trip around it, no and you're waiting for summer to come to go see, you know, Jagger and the Stones, and you wake up that morning at the hotel, you're getting ready to go to the venue, and you're like, you know what? I'm not really going to go. I don't really like... They're, they don't really, their music isn't really that good. Let's just go back home. Like, Are you fucking kidding me? It's the Rolling Stones. You got an awesome dog. Of course, you did just compare your dog to the Rolling Stones. Their stones do look a little laid back and drugged, <laughs> and maybe Leia was too. Uh, but the people that got her, just in case, I mean, they did walk by this office. So maybe it might. was all the cocaine you were feeding her. Maybe she just couldn't really deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, Keith Richards is still alive, so something, you yeah, know. Just because no one's told him he's dead. He's still waiting. <laughs> the minute somebody tells him, he's just going to fall over. But, I don't like the drugs, but the drugs like me. So they did walk by this office, so they probably realized I had a podcast, because if you can't really walk by this office and not think some sort of broadcasting happens here. So just in case they are listening, the family that has Leia, they, I, they changed her name, I forget what it was, uh, to something else. But um, Wiggles. Uh, sure. Biggles. Uh, Wiggle Biggles. Debbie. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> no, um, what, whatever, whatever they named her, um, they, they, they seemed like great people. They were super nice. The oh. husband was a 49ers fan. Oh man. So, I mean, listen, I mean, it, it, we, we did great. And I, Jawan Jennings. Yeah. To your contract from, from, uh, Tennessee. It was kicked the off the team at one university 45. of Tennessee. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was boo boo. Yeah, that whole mess about him getting kicked—that was that was. It's pretty funny now. They call him third and uh, third and Jawan. Right, I love it. Um, he's pretty clutch, though, right? He's he was going to be the MVP of the Super Bowl. Had yes, won. he would have without a question. He would have been the MVP. Um, I like old Jawan. I'm I do too. No, I was. And, I mean, and look what he's. I mean, hey, he is. Yeah, he's he's earned. He's, he's earned your the third right. receiving option, and he's your third down man. Yeah, he is one hundred percent. He's a man too. That he's not strong. scared he to go strong. over the middle. He, he, is, he blocks. He is yeah. strong. No, he he's always been strong. Love it. Anyway, we got off topic. Yeah, but yeah. That's, that's, um, that's yeah. I, I I even want to move away from this dog thing. It's just upsetting me. Um, you need a hug. Uh, I don't know if I can get there. I don't, I don't think my I don't think my cords will reach. <laughs> I'll give you virtual. no. It just you just use your arm. Virtual, uh, <laughs> I shall in not your cord, just your just in your. love. Um, I mean, I'll get over. When it. two people okay. love each other, they give themselves each other special hug. Special hug. Special hug with special parts. That's it. <laughs> and then boom, you have a baby. Then that's right. Um, you walk in the room and <laughs> testosterone happens. Uh, can't give the baby up though after two weeks. It, it, but right. you can give a dog up. I made that comparison. I'm like, that's weird. Ooh, you it's went like, there with that. It's like, you remember like how like kids, like it's hard to potty Dang. train them too. We should have just thrown their ass out the window too. <laughs> anyway, I'd have a hell of a lot more money. Boo on Lindsay. Boo. Yeah. I'm pretty upset about this. Boo Land. on all of them except for Steven. Steven was with me. He and Well, Paxton, Paxton, he, well, he, I, he, he, he's got to warm up. He's he's a little jackass and he would have been fine he, later. He, he would have been. He, yeah. yeah. He probably tried to eat her or ride her. <laughs> Like a horse. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Don't give her the spurs, son. Stop, no. stop, 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 stop. Stop, son. No. Stop. All right, we'll get away from the dog. Um. <laughs> that hair of the dog is saying, hey there, man. All you got to do is put a drink in my hand. Just now like, you're messing. That's Eric son Church. of a bitch. <laughs> the song, Hair of the Dog. Now, classic rock and roll from 1976 in Nazareth. 
Actually, I don't think it was 76. I think it was like 79. Close. But it, it was in the 70s. It was you're, you're, that was, that, no, that was a good That was a good. 21 I, I, times I, they say son of a bitch in that song. Do they really? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, we, we Especially were, for that We were told era. not to play that on radio. Because <laughs> it was so, too much. It was so too many times. every shift we would play it. Are you because, serious? Oh, yeah. They told us not to play it. So we played it all the time. Really? And we just said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just I forgot. We love that song. <laughs> it's a classic, classic rock. Um. What uh, else you got, man? So, we'll, we'll move on from the dog. So I want to talk a little bit uh, about... Um, so we've got a couple things to talk about. Uh, okay. But I, I I don't want to breeze over our our pre-show conversation of the staycation. Oh, man. And here's what's int- here's it, it, it. Let me tell you my piece, and then I'll turn you loose because you got a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, because this is, this is, it's kind of like the flip with the dogs. It, yeah, yeah. You know, you had to get rid of your dog... I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Our dog's doing awesome. Yeah. This is, you love a staycation. That's what I was going to say. You love a staycation. There is, it's hard to get me out of the house. You remember my birthday last year, right? Lindsay planned for you and, and Laura to meet yeah, us man. to play Top Golf. We had, we had, awesome had, time, we had a man. great time. Food was great. <laughs> we had a great time. Kick but I, back. I complained the whole way there because I didn't know where I was going. I complained. That's true. Complained, but it, complained. you didn't, yeah, you didn't know. But I didn't but know. Then, but then oh. you guys showed up and it was great. And then Laura showed us up playing golf. Whack that first swing. I was like, mm. oh, she and I were nailing them. I was like, this is going to be a problem. Um, Lindsay but, won, though, on point. I know, because she's uh, uh, yeah. hitting a ground ball like it, yeah. 15 yards. And she, it, she's getting five points a hit, but like all 15 of the balls got in. So, yeah. So I was just up there trying to swing. The food was delicious. The, the food was really good there. The food was delicious. Um, Anyway. But but you're right. Like right, for, right. for you, me, you, taking a week off work where staycation. And let me just be really honest, and my family knows this. A a, a week off where like they're all gone too. <laughs> I won't leave the house. This magic moment. It is, yes. <laughs> I'm like George Costanza, like in my underwear eating a block of cheese. <laughs> like I mean, like <laughs> oh, I, I just I there I, is your visual, <laughs> right? All things. Dave, <laughs> A-N-D, Doc, D-O-C dot com with a piece of cheese in your undies. Just a block of cheese. But, cheese in your undies. But I, I, that to me, that is like a beautiful sentiment to yeah, think of no. a vacation. Mm. You, however, had no a way, different man. experience. No way, man. And no go. way. <laughs> no way, man. So, you know. <laughs> So I've never had it. I've never done a staycation. Normally, we don't get the podcast in this time of year. Right, because, because you guys, right, we're like on guys, vacation. On, yes, on we're on vacation. Vacations, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Because we like to go and, and and you know, some, now I know it's also a little bit out of necessity. So I'm going to, I'm going to, so, so I, I, other than when I, I, I took the week off of my first board exam that I had to do, I took that week off. Um, I have never had a staycation. I have always gone somewhere. That's back to med school, right? Yeah, back. Yeah. Yes, yeah. In yeah. terms of working, like now, now when I was obviously in um, undergrad, I mean, I went to summer school. Basically, I went straight through for the first two full years. Went to summer school plus worked. Yeah. So even if I had quote unquote downtime, I was still kind of just hanging. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in terms of working, working world, you know, even when I was in, in business and worked for Daimler Chrysler <clears throat> back in the day, my vacation, it was a vacation. <laughs> like I went somewhere anyway. So, <laughs> it, it, so we did the staycation. Yeah. Now I'm going to preface this with a few things. Okay. All right. Number one. I didn't plan to go to a beach or anything. Okay. Now, was there a reason that you did? Part of it was we've got things going on at the house. You guys have a lot going on. We've got, we've got some more remodel going. We got into some stuff, you know, in terms of our retaining wall was cracked and leaning and, and our deck had a cracked post and Knox County has a rule. If you mess with the post, you've got to redo the deck because the deck has to be the code. Of course, the deck was built in 2001 or whatever because we bought an old house and we've renovated it. Anyway, so we got, well, anyway, and it's, you know, and then we're, we're finishing our basement. There, there's lots of stuff happening and we're, we got into some things that we weren't thinking that we were going to have to do, you know, so there's, yeah. anyway, so that was part of it because I was like, okay, 
you know, theoretically, there's going to be a lot going on that week for that. The other thing was, I thought, okay, we can we can get some fun things together and just do like little day stuff or whatever. But didn't really plan anything. Okay? Yeah. So so I'm putting this, you know, again, putting some of this on me, put most of it on me actually. <sighs> My wife, you, you will never outwork my wife. Yeah. That's all I know. I yeah. mean, she can get so much done, and it's insane. I love my kids very much. They're good kids. With all that being said. <laughs> I like your kids, too. I, I am. I, I cannot do a staycation. We got to go somewhere. <laughs> it is. It is. There. There is too much going on, and... You know, we got goals of things that need to get done each day, and and, <laughs> and I was, you know, I, I I thought it would just be kind of a lay around, sit around, you know, whatever. Got in the pool a couple times, but you know, I'm in the pool with the kids, which means which I'm is work, working, That's right? Work. Um, Laura worked her butt off. I mean, like I said you ain't going out work. She has goals of things that have to happen, <laughs> and either I was helping with those has goals to happen, or or well, needed to happen. Or, no, I mean stuff that needed to be done. It did. I mean it did, but but some of it was needed to be we, done. We electively last week we, or this week. Well, the opportunity. I'm not trying to bury you. The here. Oppor- <laughs> I was going to say the opportunity. Shut up, asshole. The o- no no no. It's okay. No no. You're good because it's a good point. The opportunity yeah. was there to do some of these things that need to it be done. It was advantageous to and, get that done this week, and she needed to get it done, or I could go do that. But then somebody had to watch the kids, which meant then I had all the kids, and then we got the dog back. Which which also to, just to point out to everybody, like it's not like. For me, when we say you and I are in the same position, because when you have the kids, for me, two of them kind of self-sufficient. Yeah, I got no. Yeah, no. But 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 then the little one's not self-sufficient. N- none of them are self-sufficient. So, but, so you're in a different situation yes. than me. Yes. Whereas they one want of, and they like, one of them <laughs> is a little self-sufficient. Yeah, but they're smaller kids than ours. Callan I mean, can do I, anything. Callan can do anything. Yeah, but Callan enjoys having somebody to play with and do stuff with. Of course, and so, which which because here and again. I got to be grateful for this because, you know, probably in about six years, it's like, Dad, can you drop me off like a mile from the school? I'll just you run become it. The most, I'll just, you become I'll the just, most embarrassing I'll idiot just, that I'll just run it. I'll just run it in from here. Yeah. And that's going to break my heart, you yeah. know, and, and, but I mean, I know some of that is going to you occur. You just give her to another family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that Ooh, twist that knife. Oh, just give her to another family. You know, super so, simple. So it was a little bit more work and it's and it's it's just stressful when we don't have activities my, my kids have a lot of energy i have a lot of energy yeah not like i did when i was that age obviously <laughs> but so they had a lot of energy you know the, the week yeah. started out good because we had stuff going like you know friday night saturday sunday monday you know th- th- so through memorial day then tuesday through today the reality hit. it just seemed very stressful yeah um and and then i mean i got a ton of stuff through work. And I mean, I always have to work some when we go on vacation and that, and that's okay. That's yeah, part of me my too. job. But yeah. I feel like it was, I don't know, like, and, I, and I'm sure, but last year I did the same thing. We went on vacation. I don't feel like it was such a bombardment of stuff coming off the holiday weekend, but, <laughs> but maybe, I don't know. Anyway. So there was a lot of that where that was a couple hours every day, just doing yeah. that and then trying to work that in, you know, with the kids and doing stuff and, 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 and you know, just trying to run errands, you know, do things. <laughs> it, it, it was not restful. <laughs> you know, not, and not that vacation, quote unquote, necessarily is either because if we go to the beach. Yeah. I mean, I'm predominantly the one. If, if you can get in the water, I'm in the water. Yeah. And, and, and I love that, it, you know, and, and, and again, but we're also at the beach in, yeah. the, in the water. <laughs> a little different. A little different. Scenery is a little different. And, I, you know, it's like, hey, you want to go get a snow cone? Yeah, let's go get a snow cone. Yeah. You, you want to you go eat it at, you know, the little Captain sea, seafood George's. place? <laughs> Captain George. They don't have that. They don't have that down in Florida. Oh. Um, anyway, or, or, you know, whatever. But, yeah. But, Right. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll just, we'll go do that. Or, hey, you want to take a nap? Hey, everybody's tired. Let's take a nap. No, oh, there was none of that. Fun time. There was none of that. So, so, you know, and again, we're, we started track this week. 
So there were late night track practices, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Callan running hard. I appreciate that. Not running her, her hardest <laughs> all the way through the line. We've getting better with that, but sure. she enjoying it. Kate did not participate the first time. Shout out to Kate. She did the whole thing on Thursday. I was Good. super proud of her. Good for her. Track meet tomorrow. Good for her. At 8.30. <laughs> all day. Where's that at? Hardin Valley. <laughs> And my baby wants to run the last running event. So you're leaving the house at 7 a.m. Uh, 7, yeah, 7, 15, 7, 30. Yeah. 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 Good news is I don't think there'll be as much traffic because it's a Saturday. <clears throat> if it was traffic, we'd be having At the beat. high school? Yeah, it's over there, Hard Valley High School. You better leave at 7. You think it'll be that bad on Saturday? I've done a lot of games over there on Saturday, football games. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. just, it just you, you'd be surprised. Well, I mean, I, th- I mean, you know, and there's, I mean, it's obviously, it's all the surrounding Knox County. It's Knox with mm-hmm. Athletics. Yeah. So it's, uh, okay. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. That's going to be a little rough. All right. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just happy that they're doing something. You know what I mean? No, that's And like I said, I don't care. Great. I don't care what it is, but they're they're fired up and they're doing it and we're we're going. And I think Bennett will be able to run the 50-yard dash, 50-meter dash. Anybody 6 and younger can run it. I'm going to set his little hiney down there and let him Paxton go. would do it. I'm going to let him go and see what he does. If you took Paxton's tablet, like they do those rabbits for dogs, <laughs> and just like let it run He'd the track. He'd probably win that sucker, oh, dude. Oh, there ain't no doubt. And if you got in front of him, he would hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so staycation, not for me. Not yeah. For me. Not for me. I mean, like I said, had, had, some, had some good things, you know, had, had, some, had some meals with friends and things. And You know what we should do? You know... What should we do? We should, you and I, yeah, should do like uh, just a guy's weekend somewhere. Oh man, you know what I mean? Just you and me. I mean, it'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be awesome. We'll get a block good, of cheese. Good luck with sit that. In our underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feed you, and you feed. It's getting a little weird. <laughs> oh, you went out of focus. Hocus pocus. Yeah. Everybody, focus. I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But no, that would be fun, right? That'd be fun, right? No, no, I mean, dude, it'd be great. But but you know, but then you kind of pay for that too. You do, yeah, one hundred percent, yeah. Like I said, man, I, I would, yeah. It, it, we we needed we needed activities, yeah, and we did do some stuff. You know, I mean, there was some things, but it was. <sighs> there's just something good about not being. At the house, in I, in, in in my I, world, I, I like just, I, and like I said, I mean because vacation is busy because you're playing constantly, but yeah. you wear them suckers out. I just think, and that then people, you get some time because I, they are whooped. This is what I mean. Again, we go through this because Lindsay like stresses over finding things for the kids to do. I say kids, really, just land. Understand. <clears throat> and, and Paxton to do on the over the summer, right? She's like, I need to find some more things. They could have run like, track, dude. Yeah, yeah, I could see my kids. Landon, that. yeah, that kid. No, calling you out again, Landon. So, but I mean, it's like we stress over that, and it's like, why, why don't you just let him sit in his room and play some video games or something? Like, if that's <laughs> what he wants to do, you know what I mean? Like, I think sometimes we try to over plan as people, not we as in you and me, but we do. But like just as people, we try to over plan shit. And it's like sometimes it's like there there's something cool That's to me about just saying we're gonna go to we're gonna go to I don't know, we're gonna go to Virginia Beach. Let's just go to Virginia Beach. But what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. We're gonna let's sit get up at the that beach. morning. Let's just get up that morning <laughs> and figure out what we we're gonna do. We're gonna sit at the beach. You know, have fun, and then when we're hungry, we're going to go to Captain George's. Some of the, yeah, there you go. But some of the most fun trips that I've ever had are play are trips with zero agenda, right? Just like with a bunch of buddies, you go to the beach, you're sitting there at the beach, and you're like, "You guys hungry? Yeah, let's go. Let's go get some. All right, let's go to Captain George's. Then you're at Captain George's, and you're like, "You know what we ought to do? We ought to go down to the pavilion, or we should go to the what? No, let's I go think... do that. And the next thing you know, it's two a.m. You know, <laughs> and you're being arrested. I'm kidding. Well. I, I, Maybe. Don't do that, folks. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but but it's like, so, you know, it, you know what I mean? Like, the next thing you know, the whole day has happened, and you didn't feel like you were rushed to do anything. You didn't feel like you're like, oh, we got to get there for this. We got to right. get there for this. You I know. think that's, I think that's, I mean, I think there's great merit to that. It, the, the the problem, and, and I think you'd agree with this, <laughs> with kiddos, yeah, it just gets a little bit harder because they need 
something. Now, I think the older your kids get, they do, they're like, hey, I, I enjoy X, Y, and Z. That's yeah. kind of what I'm going to do. No, you're right. The um, age makes a big difference. You it know, does. so I think, I think that, that does get better. We used to just drug our kids. I just so give a bunch. I mean, you just yeah. give them whatever. Yeah, ha- heroin and in there. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, um, fine. It's okay. A little lethargic, but that's okay. <laughs> Sniffing that Roxy, it's okay. <laughs> um, so right, so you know, I, th- I think that I think there is something to that. I think if we had had more stuff planned, I think that would have been better. Yeah, like I said, it, but it gets it gets hard and. And like I said, my I mean, my wife gets some stuff done, man. She's a worker. Had um, you come over here between Monday and Wednesday, <laughs> you could have played with a dog. We got our dog back on Thursday, and yeah. I'm telling you, it's it's much different. I mean, he can go out without a leash now to go pee and stuff. He's got his collar on. hadn't had to hadn't had to shock him or nothing. I know the you know, Leia didn't even wear a leash. She didn't need it. She P- don't need to PETA, to, she AS, ASPCA, to whatever. I mean, you know, I, they, I know they may not agree with that. Asapaka. Yeah, whatever it is. Asap- <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> Join I mean, Asakapa. Like, like I said, doesn't need, he didn't need any of that. Went out happy as can be. We played in the front yard. There you go. Like I said, no leash. Yeah. And I was like, this is, this is awesome. But anyway, but it, you should yeah, like gotta walk around act, to the got, neighbors. Got to have stuff. activities in the staycations. Not for me. No. I, if, I, if I'm off, we got to go somewhere else. I, I know it works for you. It now, if if they all went somewhere, which I don't think that would have that gone over like a lead balloon. You know, trying to throw one of those anvils over the high bar at the anvil at the <laughs> Highland Games or whatever. Um, yeah, that you know that that ain't that ain't gonna happen. I think I'm just so crotchety that people are okay with it. <laughs> I think that's the well. Like I said, I I do feel blessed because my you know my kids do at this phase they still do like to play with I, me and and it, it, you know so we go do stuff and they enjoy it and I'm like okay because again it's coming quickly where that's not going to oh, be 100%. cool anymore and then I'm going to be like man I took all that for granted so well it is kind of cool like I mean like Landon wants to do th- stuff with me like yes. we started racing like the little RC cars and yeah, stuff man. like he loves that and like you know Steven likes doing some things so I mean like you know it, it, they they love going to the movies and stuff and they want dad to take them and you know so I I, I you know I do appreciate that and and, no, don't, and I know and I'm don't saying mind. that you did. Oh, I know. I just I, I love doing that I, stuff, but there is nothing, <laughs> folks. Now, let me tell you something. You don't. I don't even think you know this, but last year Lindsay said, "What do you want for Father's Day? Do you want to cook out or anything?" I said, "Here's what I want. I want everybody to leave me the hell alone. That's what I want. I want one day, y'all can go do whatever you want." And she's like, "Well, I mean, I guess we could go eat with my dad." I'm like, "That sounds great." That sounds great. Buy his dinner. Take him to Ruth's Chris. I don't care. I want a day. Stay there all day. I want a day. And she was laughing. She goes, no, really, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I, I, I just told I you. I said, you ask me every year, and probably the last 10 years, I have said the same thing. I just want a day where I don't have people asking me to do things. That's all, that's all I want. Because every other day, it's different. Like, you and I, this is the same thing. You come home, and you get the laundry list, right, mm-hmm. of... Here are the things that aren't working in the house. Here's what somebody said about somebody else. Here's the latest gossip on whatever, which I don't give a shit about. Like, I don't care. It's like, and I'm like, who are you talking about again? Well, my friend blah 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 did this to blah 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 blah. See, I don't even get any of that. Like, it's like, it's like Las Vegas at my house. Whatever happened? No, I, I hit the door, though, and they want to play. And I'm like, how'd you lose your eye? <laughs> well, <laughs> so I mean, we don't I, talk get, about I get like no details. Oh, well, no. You know, so so it, it's kind of funny. It, it really is the opposite. <laughs> But, but I mean, you hit the door and, and, you know, everybody gets hyped. Everybody, yeah. you know, they, they and, and that's, like I said, that's good because I'm glad they want to, you know, hug me, cuddle me, daddy, watch me do this, daddy, I can, let's, let's, you know, let's wrestle, let's flip, let's yeah. whatever, you yeah. know, the dogs want me to love on you. Know. Watch me shotgun this beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's just kidding. Bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just, I, am I on Laura's list now? Or was I already on her list? No, you're I think not on, I might no, be. No, you're not on the list. You're I safe. think I'm already on. No, you're safe. Thutton, everything's Thutton's fault. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, well, I'm. I'm I mean, it that. does. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you know, El Nino happens. Thutton seems right. Cubs don't win. Thutton. Yeah. 
you know. I blame Tom Brady for everything. So Tom I mean, Brady was was created Thutton. Yeah. No, there, <laughs> okay. Well then, all right. I mean, basically, yeah. Right, he's on my list too. Then. He, I mean, I'm just saying. Put him right there. He's on the list now. Um. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your staycation. <laughs> Like I said, man, it, it just, sorry. it just, it was not, it, yeah. it was not for me. It doesn't sound like it was for you. Not for me. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, not for me. No staycation. So, um, no. Uh, let's see. A couple other things here. I know we're still trying to stay, stick to this hour <laughs> format. So we might go over a little bit here. It's okay. Um, uh, Red Lobster, quick, quick mention to Red Lobster, losing their ass. Yes. Um, I know. What was it they had? I forget how much in sales for a year. It was something terrible. And I'm like, how many locations? And that was their revenue? Not profit, just revenue was like unheard of. Like, what? Have you got that many locations? Revenue in, oh, that's 2018. That's probably when it started to decline, though. Two billion. It's two billion for last year? Let me see, 2024. Hang on. Numbers probably aren't out for 2024. No, 2.6 in 2023. Yeah, but still. Losses continued last year with the change of 12.5 million in operating revenue lost during quarter four alone. Yeah. So you're still billing. But again, that's revenue. It's not profit. That is revenue. not profit. So when you look at yeah. the P&L, it doesn't look at restaurant is tough. Restaurant business is tough. But the it, dead lobster, man, I mean, you would think... But they're I, losing their shirt. I got to tell you, though, the one over on Merchants is just total trash. Is it really? Oh, it's I'm not garbage. Gonna, oh, it's, man, I used to love that one. I used to love Red Lobster. Oh, that general. hurts me. It's total garbage now. The I'm last time we were there, serious. I'm like, Lindsay and I looked at each other and like, I don't think we're coming back here. Oh, my gosh. That first makes of, me so sad. First of all, the parking is terrible. The building well, needs, now that's true. They need a remodel to the building. Do they, they have they an old TV something. on the wall, too? It's probably, it's probably a... It, they, <laughs> the, the guy came to Knoxville and sold three of them. Two to your office and one to Red Lobster. Uh, <laughs> I, I set it up. Dave knocks it down. Thank you. No, he yeah, he came to Knoxville and he goes, well, I know who I can screw over. You want a 24-inch television? From 1999. It's only 24 inches thick. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, so they're, so in Tennessee, they're only closing one location. I think it's out in Nashville or Memphis. Um, actually, Well, you know what? I can actually tell you because I have the list right here. Um, they do catch wild lobsters, though, Dave. They do. You can, you, can pick a, you can pick it out. But, yeah. it's, and it, but it's not farm-raised. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell is a farm-raised lobster? That just what the fuck does that mean? Like that, I've heard that it, my entire life. What the fuck? <laughs> We're getting an R rating, folks. They're not the, on a fucking farm. They're in the ocean. The, it's kind of like free range chickens versus the traditional chickens. I, I guess the These biggest free range lobsters. The, the biggest, the biggest thing that I can tell because I, I it, it's. <laughs> God. No, you go ahead. I, I can't I'm, get there. I can't. I'm, just, I'm trying. I can't. It's here. like it's like Mikey Che and Colin Jost. Um, I, you you know what I'm saying. So they're yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. they're they're not in their native environment. I guess that would be the thing. And so they you know they're feeding them in this manufactured ecosystem. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Sounds like that would be a little. Cleanlier, and except I don't. Well, but is it though? Because what are they doing to them? I don't. It's know. like farm raised catfish. I mean, is it because what are they doing to them? I mean, feeding them, you know, tiger penis, and I mean, what what are we doing? What's what I eat? What? <laughs> That's why I got a kid in every decade. It's for virility, <laughs> right? You might be pregnant for being in this room right now. Uh, in Tennessee, the uh, farm-raised lobster you can no longer get, or non-farm, whatever, free-range lobster, whatever the fuck that is, um, you can get you no longer get that in uh, on Winchester Road in Memphis. Oh, yeah. Oh, so right there, close to the FedEx. Uh, you can't get the lobster. How about that? Yeah. So no more lobster out there. Uh, no kidding. In Virginia, and this is this hits me because I actually have been to this Red Lobster, Newport News. I've been to that Red Lobster uh, many times. 
and that is closing. Williamsburg, Colonial Heights. Uh, is there any other states we care about? Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I mean, I like South Carolina. Yeah, closing. I like Florida. Uh, let's see. Uh, go Knowles. It's only one part of Florida that uh, anybody cares about, and that's Tallahassee. <laughs> uh, two in Tampa, two and three in Orlando. Uh, what about Fort Walton? Three in Jacksonville. Uh, uh, no, that one's fine. Uh, uh, Largo and Leesburg, gone. Sanford, gone. Gainesville. So if you're a Gators fan. Ooh. Um, uh, gone. Go, go, Daytona go, go, go. Beach Shores, too. Denver, Colorado. Closing the Red Lobster. The Dead Lobster. Uh, and in California, uh, yeah, nobody gives a shit. Um, Their guest count has fallen by 30% yeah. since 2019. It's garbage. It's just garbage. And, and, and I, only marginally improved from the pan, from the significant 2020, 2021. How does that happen, though? You know what I mean? Like, <coughs> and, well, I mean, if this, if it's dirty. But I mean, let's say, but how does that, like, let's take an establishment like, um, let me think of one. Ruth's Chris. <laughs> okay. Let, let's use Ruth's Chris. So, like, what has to start? What's the chain reaction for... Because it's not like they're closing Red Lobster in one state because they got some bad scores. Right. This is... Uh, uh, they're closing... A, t- a ton of people are losing their job. Mm-hmm. So, like, how does that... What systemically happens? Is it a change at the top? <sighs> does it, That's a good question. I mean, like, how does that... Like, I, I've never understood, I mean, like... Th- like, tech companies going in and out, totally get because technology changes, things just become obsolete. Like real player, you remember real player? Oh yeah, man. Everybody had to have real player. Everybody had. To have When's real the player. last time anybody ever downloaded real player? It's been about fifteen years. It just went away. Internet Explorer just went away. Uh, Netscape Navigator just went away. AOL still around, but really just kind of went away. Right. But so tech technology wise, it just happens because technology evolves, and if you don't evolve fast enough, you get left behind. I get that, but I mean, when you're serving butter biscuits and and cheddar biscuits, sorry, yeah, uh, butter. How cheddar, dare you? How dare you? Butter cheddar, shrimp scampi, uh, farm raised. Sorry, sorry, free no, range. No, 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 wild free, caught. Wild <laughs> free range from the ocean. <laughs> free range versus from the pond lobster. where they fed them whatever they fed them. <laughs> This tastes like hepatitis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I still want to know. I want somebody to show me uh, the difference between a farm raised. And, I would, you know, I would be interested to know what they're feeding them. Could that? That I mean, that, that actually that, is that's legit. Probably that's probably. Um, I mean, that's probably what it is. Mm, makes mm, you. Were you, were I, you I, farm I raised I or were you free range? When you <laughs> I was out? free range. Man. I was definitely free range. <laughs> me and Chef Boy R D. We were best buddies. Um. Chef Boy R D, hell yeah! Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, so the <laughs> fucking free range lobster, wild caught dumbass. It's not free range. It's the, the only the difference. And I was trying to get the only difference between come out the jibba <laughs> jibba. The only difference between a free range chicken and the coop thing is those chickens are running around in their own poop. I'm like, they're out running around. What's the real? I don't. I mean, that's probably not accurate. I apologize, people. I'm just. You, well, it's you see not like the ocean is clean. Though. I think it's <laughs> dirty as shit. <laughs> I didn't say it was clean. I'm talking about. I don't know what they're feeding them. They're eating whale shit. <laughs> that's what they're eating. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Jim, what'd you eat today? I I, I ate uh, a clam and a side of whale shit. Peppered whale shit. Pickled, pickled whale shit. With a side of sea salt. With a a side of sea salt. (laughs) Woo, that tasted salty, Jim. (laughs) Shoo. (laughs) That's disturbing. (laughs) I mean, but the ocean's gross. I mean, it just is. I mean, I know there's a lot of salinity there, so, like, stuff dies, but... Still, oh man, I don't know. Maybe they should. Here's what they should do: the free range chickens should be in the ocean. <laughs> Just throw them right in there. Just throw their ass right in. Peta probably listens to this every week. Just they're making a list and checking it twice. Oh, what those assholes going to say? You said throw the chickens in the ocean. <laughs> Just dump their ass right in. Oh man. Then the lobsters could eat the chickens. 
and then you would have some kind of I don't know. <laughs> this is okay. This is I'm gonna look this up because because I just <laughs> I just need to know. Free range lobster. wild caught lobster. <laughs> it's like the episode of Seinfeld where Kramer brought back that lobster trap. Mm-hmm. And they made uh, lobster uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> Those were free range lobsters that he caught. Red Lobster puts them in that gross tank, though. And you can go pick them out if you want one. I never did that. I'll take Clementine right there. Give me Clementine. Oh, but, sometimes they eat other lobsters. Oh, there you go. Fish, crabs, clams, mussels, sea urchins, and sometimes even other lobsters. That a partridge in a pear tree. They like fresh food. Oh. Well, there you go. So they are eating whale shit. The main predator is man. I guess that, yeah. What else is going to eat a lobster, right? Other than, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't like. I don't even know where lobsters are at. Like it seems like those lobster traps are like right off the shore. So like I don't even like I don't understand the circle of life. Maybe I should have watched that show. What was that show? Where they were on a boat and they caught stuff. Deadliest catch. Yeah. That was the crabs. The king, oh, they caught the crabs. The, the king and then, crab. But what kind of the, fish did they get, though? Cod. Rod. How did they get crabs, though? Did they bring, like, like some folks with them on the boat? Some skanks. <laughs> Shrimp skanky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Woo! It's getting late night, folks. This is what happens. One of the most dangerous jobs: deadliest catch. Yeah, those people. There's just people that do jobs. I'm glad they do them, but they're out of their damn mind. Like underwater welding. Yeah. The hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> that shouldn't even or like work. working those big rigs. Oh, then, <laughs> that mess. It's like, oh, you get a fire. That's it. Um, I, yeah, I, I just, yeah, some of those jobs, I don't, I mean, I'm glad people do stuff like that, right? Like, I just can't. They can make some bank. Oh, yeah. Working, you know, 12 weeks out of the year. But don't like right? underwater welders, they don't live very long, which I mean, obviously, I, I'm still being <laughs> serious, like their life expectancy. <laughs> well, yeah, because something bad's gonna happen. But I don't, they don't even die in the water. Well, like, honey, it's something that happens to their health. Honey, I had to call you, honey. Like, it, <laughs> Gets back to the cheese. You're trying to quit me too, aren't you? (laughs) (laughs) An underwater welder makes $54,945 per year in Walling, Tennessee. That's terrible. Not enough. In the North Sea, they can make up to $100,000. That's still not enough. Gulf of Mexico, up to $200,000. That's, I mean, I guess. I don't know. That just seems like a job that. First of all, I don't even know how that works. And then it seems like there's a lot of electricity involved. And I feel like that's a problem. But we. <laughs> just... How about the <laughs> formation of oxygen and hydrogen? Yeah, I just, I mean, you know. And then, I mean, and they're, they, they're using electricity, right? Yeah. Because you can't run a gas. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like you're running, there's electricity involved. In water. Into that. Are they free range welders? That's that's what I want. Or are they farm farm like range? Farm, farm, free, free farm range. Um, they can go up to 400 feet. Jeez. Screw that. That's, no, no, no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. That seems just. Not, that is not anything that I want to do. Um. Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. So real quick, I want to touch on. We, we actually we don't even have to talk about it. I, just want, I didn't know if you've heard this, but the the fight with uh, Mike Tyson, yeah, yeah, Jake Paul, yeah, yeah, yeah an ulcer on a flight, like something flared up. Yeah, yeah, not good. So I don't. How long do you think he's going to be out though? Probably at least. Well, he, if he can't train, so you know he, he'll get he'll get on some medicine. They'll heal it up. I mean, you're you're talking probably safely eight to twelve weeks to really let it heal. 
maybe yeah. longer, depending on the. I don't know the severity of it because it's about eight weeks to the fight, right? And so and, and then, the right, and so and yeah. during that time, I mean, obviously, he can't gonna train. Say, they're yeah. going to say, "Hey, you can't train." So then he's got to go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I wonder if he was coughing up blood or what he was doing. You would think probably. I mean, I would think but for it, it to be that bad. Yeah, my ulcer flare up. I'm only, but my doctor liked my training for a few weeks. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm gonna say conservatively, they would really want him to chill out for about twelve weeks. It probably not. He probably six to eight, and you're probably gonna be doing pretty darn good. But I bet at least twelve weeks. So we're probably looking at an October fight then. Probably, yeah. If that, I mean, if that, I it don't just, know. it just depends on how he feels. I mean, you can get that sucker healed, but I mean, he may be like, yeah, I don't really want to do this. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of messed up, man. I was kind of looking forward to it because I really want to see Jake Paul get knocked out. <clears throat> or worse yet, I'm really afraid he might actually get him because, I mean, Mike Tyson is old. He is, but there's no way Jake Paul hits harder than Mike Tyson. Even yeah, but now. he's got to, but he's, he, you know, he's got oh, to make he's, contact. He does. I mean, he that does. was the thing when he came back from prison. He, he wasn't as good at making contact. It's true. And he he was not somebody that was going to win on points. Hey, he knocked out Peter McNeely. <laughs> I'm Peter McNeely from Brookline, Mass. On April 18th, I'm going to kick Tyson's hiney. Yeah. Yeah, no. that didn't happen. No. But that was a joke. Oh, man. I know it was. That, that, was that fight was joke. so... It was you all about just him trying to tell. propel him up so he could get a title fight. And then when he really got up there, he just he didn't have the form. Well, he ended up winning the championship back, right? And then fought Holyfield and lost it. He, he just... I think he got the WBO belt back. Did he? I think so. I, I, I'd have to and look then, at And then, then when he fought uh, Holyfield, Holyfield had like the WBC title. And the IBF. Yeah, yeah something like that. So it's like a so unification bout. And then, and then Evander, the... Uh, then Lennox Lewis was after that. Yeah, and Lennox just dominated everybody. And then the Klitschko brothers dominated everybody. And then Deontay Wilder and then Tyson Fury. Fury. And then, uh, then Fury lost two weeks ago. Uh, that was crazy. That looks like that rematch is going to happen this year. Actually. Yeah, that would they had that in the in the claw. Yeah, that, so that's uh, because I. Yeah, I watched, he but, yeah I, he did. I watched that fight and yeah I I don't Here know. It is. He did. He got the he WBC. Was the WBC because okay. he he beat Frank Bruno. That's it. Yeah, and then got the WBA by beating Bruce Seldon. But that was also one of those they were saying like it was like that was a gimme. They were like, kind of paper champion type thing. Yeah. Well, Frank Bruno was a rematch too because he had fought Bruno when he was champion before. Yes. Yes. Uh, and beat him in five rounds. Yes. Bruno was a lot taller than him, and he just beat the shit out of him. Yes. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. Um, but hate to see that because that, that was the day after my birthday, as a matter of fact. Uh, Ooh. That, so that I was going to order that pay-per-view and be excited. And, Ooh. But now I'm not. And now and it's now not happening, I'm folks. Not. Um, Sorry do, for that. Do we have time <laughs> to talk about Ozempic? Or do, oh or do, or do we want to wait... For another <laughs> week. You tell me. I mean, how deep of a discussion are we I, wanting to go? I don't on know this? that I really want to go super deep, but like, so I'm, I was talking to somebody who's taking not Ozempic, but another so one of those. So, semi, semiglutide is the yeah. generic medication, and it is also under the trade names Ozempic, which has the FDA clinically approved um, indication for diabetes and then Wagovi, which is FDA approved for weight loss. FDA has rules. You cannot use the same named product for two different clinical indications. Interesting. Even though it's the same base drug. Yeah. Semiglutide. It is not, um, you can't do that. That's why. And so Manjaro, which is a GLP one agonist and a GIP one agonist, they has two mechanisms. Of accidents. It is ZEP bound rebranded Terzepatide is the generic. God, idea. that's a terrible name. <laughs> Shit. Researchers, man, that's what they do. The hell. So, so yeah, and I mean, it's it's anything with the last. I part mean, it's is been hide. It's <laughs> it's terrible, like formaldehyde. <laughs> well, that's but well, that's because of its chemical bond structure. I, I mean, it has sure. a, it has an aldehyde group on it. Sure, the just it just sounds it, within it, and that's why it's formaldehyde. That's actually a little bit different. If you make if it makes me think of a funeral home, I don't want it. But 
the but so, so here's my question. So I was talking to somebody who is taking lots of people are on it. Not taking Ozempic, but one of the yes, one of the other semi semi glutide or doing Wagovi. And he's, if, if you're if you're doing the Ozempic yeah, equivalent, and 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 technically the the semi glutide compounded is not FDA approved. Okay, so that's an important thing to understand. So he's he's diabetic, but he's a type. Whatever well, you wouldn't prescribe well, it for. Well, actually, you can use it for both now. Um, it, it, you know, so if you're type one, you're insulin dependent, meaning you have to take insulin because your pancreas does not make it in in. So he's type the, one. He's type one then. So, yeah. but you but you can use it in type ones because it can help with weight loss. Yeah, and and therefore may if you're if you're overweight a lot of type ones are skinny just because they go into these catabolic anyway it's a whole big thing yeah um so you can do it more for the weight loss benefit which actually kind of helps the blood sugar just try to be be more gotcha. stable gotcha yeah so 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 here's my so here's my question. So everybody's talking about all the people in Hollywood that are taking it, right? Mm-hmm. It's the biggest. I mean, South Park just did a whole show right. on it, like called the end of obesity. <laughs> um, and I don't know how dangerous it is. I don't. I don't know. I just know that you're not hungry anymore, right? Um, which it, which it, it, it either is healthy or it isn't. So my question, I guess, is it seems like the taboo is around take away the the diabetics. Mm-hmm. And just people. So if somebody came into your office mm-hmm. and said, I want to lose weight, will you give me Ozempic? Mm-hmm. Your answer would be... So, again, because this happens is very thing. So I'm on the, sure I, it does. On the, on the literal thing where you're saying Ozempic, I say we can't do Ozempic. Sure, I'm, I'm because, saying Ozempic just... So is the we would term. say Wagovi or potentially a compounded version of the semiglutide. Yeah. So... And 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 we do offer that, and 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 I have prescribed that. Yes, um, the things that we talk about, though, it's not a forever fix because the goal once you lose weight is to be doing that naturally, yeah, with healthy eating, with exercise, doing the lifestyle change things because. If we just continue to suppress your appetite, at some point you could potentially lose too much weight. Also, when you're losing weight, if you're not being healthy, you're losing muscle mass, which is also not healthy for you. Right. Um, And so you can get to an unhealthy low weight because you're not nutritionally balanced, because you're not getting the right vitamins and minerals, but also now... You've wiped out a bunch of fat, but you also wiped out a bunch of muscle, and that's why people, you know, the ozempic face, the the you know the the skeleton appearance is because they don't have any shape, right? You know, they, yeah. they they're not following Fergie's blueprint with the lovely lady lumps, you know, they they you know or the whatever they're not doing it, and and that's why they look awkward is because they just lost a bunch of weight. Well, you lose muscle and fat. So, so I guess, so that's my question. So, so I counsel them on the lifestyle yeah, and we yeah. talk about that. And a lot of people have already tried it and, and, and I've got some legit people. They have really been working at it. There's, there's one lady that comes really strong into my mind, um, right now. I mean, she has tried many, many different things. It's Fergie. Isn't it? <laughs> and <laughs> it's Fergie. Isn't it? That's who it is. You got me. I got you. I just broke hip. I knew, okay. I knew, yeah, I knew, okay. she, I knew she was it's coming okay. to see you. It's okay. It's a long flight. It's okay. LA. It is. But I mean, hey, maybe I'm just worth, you know, coming to. Uh, you know. Um, there you go. Big girls don't uh, That's right. <laughs> Even when they're putting a needle in their thigh. Well, it's better if you do it in the stomach. Oh, it, 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 oh, it, oh, Zempic. You can do it in the back of the arm and the tricep too, but... Um, oh, so, so we, so oh, we, God. So, so oh. we, go, we go through that and... And then we talk about you know using the medicine, and the key with the medicine is it does a couple things. Number one, it increases your satiety factor, so you mm-hmm. get full faster. The other thing does it actually does slow down GI motility, so the food doesn't move through your tract as quickly. So therefore, it's like the pipes are a little bit backed up. Yeah. So you're not as hungry because the stuff's not moving as fast. Now <laughs> that can also lead to constipation, I was say, which just... can then actually lead to diarrhea because it's like any pipe based pressure based system or yeah. throwing up at some point, the release valve has to be triggered because <laughs> that mess has got to come out somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it can be a bad day. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of times we see that and it is more dose dependent when you start going up on the dosage people. See, some people at the very starting dose will experience it though. 
Yeah. So, so I guess my question is, so my, and th- these are just things I've heard from people I've talked to. They've talked about insurance, not covering it. Their, doc- oh, yeah. their doctors are like, their doctors are like prescribing it and it's costing them like 500 bucks right. like a month. So anytime something's new and it's <laughs> yeah. generic and it's not generic, excuse me. So Wagovi or Zepbound or Saxenda, which was the original, which was Victoza, which is, uh, or from uh, Liraglutide. Yeah. Um, or from out high. <laughs> Either way. Um, that's what I inject into me. When it's when it's new like that, your insurance is tip. So so Medicare doesn't cover it at all. They they will not cover weight loss medications. Straight up, they're not paying even for it. regardless of BMI, right? Like no. regardless. Now so. there's a clinical indication because this is what people come in now and they're saying, "Well, I have high cholesterol. I have cardiovascular disease risk, and it's approved." There was an article. There was. Yeah. The FDA said, and and CMS said. Actually, it was CMS that said this. Oh, no, we'll give you the clinical indication to use this medication if you have associated cardiovascular disease and you need this medicine. Yeah. What did? But the clinical indication, they did not give them the financial indication that they were going to help pay for it. FDA. And so anything that is... You know what the F stands well, for? Well, and, well, and that was actually CMS. I mean, I, I misspoke. It's actually the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. My, my um, statement stands. <laughs> so <laughs> What the F stands for. And, so it... it you know, they, they never pay for stuff straight out of the gate because yeah. they're trying to charge more because obviously these companies are trying to recoup the cost of their research and development sure. of these products. Sure. Now, I don't know that you got to charge $2,000 a pop per month for this stuff. Yeah. That's a whole nother thing to debate. Doesn't seem and, like and, it. And, and, you know, and that may, that, that continues to be something that's trying to be worked on. The the thing you get into though is big pharma is still big pharma and they have big pockets and they also do represent people um, in the political world and so therefore there you go. Um, so it is what it is. But right, it's 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 very very expensive and so that's where companies, uh, compounding companies have have found this loophole where they can make a semiglutide like solution. Yeah. And they are injecting this as if it is Wagovi or uh, or they have a terzepatide as well, um, injecting. But but semiglutide is the main one. They're injecting it, and and they've changed the dosage units, and they're they're selling it to people. And it's usually available through weight loss clinics, though you can order it, you know, direct from from, from some pharmacies. Um, and that is how people are getting it for cheaper. Ah, okay. Like, for example, a little plug for Reams Pharmacy. Love Reams Pharmacy. They're very, very excellent. Mm-hmm. Um, they have offices uh, or businesses in Powell as well as actually in Halls. <laughs> They're actually in the same um, uh, office complex as us. Yeah. They have the semiglutide, and you can do a titrating dose with them 10 weeks, and it costs about $280. So that's $28 a week, whereas other people are paying like, you know, if a you pay $1,500 $1, to $2,000 for a month, you're paying 400 to $500 for a month's supply. So $28 a week really sounds a lot better. And, and, I, and I guess in, as in most weight loss drugs that are appetite suppressants or something, there's always a, there's always danger on the other side of that, right? Like you have to, you have to be careful and it, the, and it can't be, tr- it can't be like you said, the long-term solution, right. but for people right. that have always struggled with weight it, and, it and are obese, right. I but, mean, that's a good kickstart, the, right? Right. No, no, it, it definitely helps. Like I said, it helps you feel full faster. Big it, Mac it, 103. It, it will lower your blood sugar, therefore lowering your insulin resistance, which therefore, you know, with you eating less, feeling full faster um, or longer, you know, losing the weight, that actually helps you not have to produce as much insulin, which also allows for more fat breakdown. So you get right. this really positive cycle where you're actually, uh, you know, eliminating more fat out of your system. Now, the key is if you're going to do that, you got to make sure when you are eating that you're eating foods that have the right, you know, nutrients in them. And also, you know, <laughs> ma- might not be a bat, which I know you don't do that anyway. But you I'm take, already laughing. But you, but you take your vitamins. I do. So yeah. the other flip of that is if you can tolerate vitamins, and I, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, most vitamins, like, they make me feel nauseous. It does not matter what they I do. They don't do great with me they, either, they but I just, make, I suffer through it because... Man, it is, it, they, yeah, they, no, just, I get you. they just do. Um, me too. You know. And, and I'm all and, the way down to the gummies. And and that <laughs> sucks. You know, it, I mean, even Flintstones. I mean, yeah. I can I can tolerate a Flintstone, but it still is just kind of like, ugh. Um, I eat those but, with milk sometimes. But... <laughs> Like it's cereal. It's like tricks. Oh, is this tricks or a Flintstone vitamin? <laughs> um, a little almond milk. 
so so the whole key is yes, and it, it's been life changing because I've had several people have great success with the Wegovi, yeah. um, and and it really has helped them tremendously. Now the hard part is 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 when you try to back off of it. Sure, if you don't have your lifestyle changes in place, guess what? You start feeling you're hungrier binge eat and, and you're yeah. not exercising. And guess right. what? You're going to gain some weight. You back. and Chef Boyardee are right going to have a party, and that's what happens. And but but it did and this but in terms of like long term side effects, if you stay nutritionally balanced, and you do not have a history of medullary thyroid carcinoma, um, that type of thyroid cancer, something along those lines, then yeah, this right. me, this medicine is very safe for you. The, these drugs in diabetic patients, medications, I hate to say the term drugs, these medications, Ozempic has a clinical indication for reduction in stroke risk in patients that have diabetes. Wow. Um, so they're, they're, they are continuing to look at cardiovascular benefits. They're also studying, you know, is there any benefits to the kidneys? Cause there are other medications for diabetes, um, in, in the SGLT2 inhibitor class, which that's Jardiance, Farsiga, and Vokana and Vokana kind of falling out that whole leg amputation thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a bad kind day. of killed proof, yeah. That kind of killed it was a bad day. Um, so but anyway, for Segan Jarns, who that did not happen in any of their stuff, um, you know, they have indications for chronic kidney disease, so they're looking. Will Ozempic, you know, have that as well? And of course, Manjaro, which is Zep bound, which is Terzepatide, is also looking at the same thing. So, there are health benefits to that outside of that. Um, you know, but but again, any medication, there's always going to be risk. And if you have the GI side effects, it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> if you have serious GI side effects, I mean, I've, I have had patients, diabetics, using Ozempic because they're like, I, I, you know, I can't get my sugars under control. We've tried some different things. I don't want to be on insulin. I don't want to take much. We try this. They can get it. And by gosh, um, they start throwing up. Oh, and, it, wow. and it will not stop for a couple days. And I mean, it's miserable wow. <laughs> because once that medicine's in there, it doesn't just come out of your system. And so, you know, you try to treat the nausea and stuff, but you can't stop the GI paralysis. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. And they just kind of have to suffer through it. And it is eye opening to them. Then it's fire in the hole one day. Kind of. <laughs> or dragon mouth because you're just <laughs> barfing up all uh, this acid. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. I, it's, but great. I mean, it is a great medication on the whole. I mean, lots of good. And there is a oral version, Rebelsis, which is semiglutide in a pill, which is that is specifically for diabetes. It is working on some of those clinical indications. They technically don't have that versus the inject Bozempic form. Yeah, if I was going to do it, I'd have to do the pill because you know me and needles. Right. right. Yeah. And, it, and they have not micronized the weight loss portion into the pill. Yeah. They're still doing the shots. Yeah, that's... But it, I'm sure it'll come. I mean, it's yeah. just one of those they just haven't done it yet. I could come to your office and let you give me the shot. You can. W would I get a lollipop if I do really good and don't cry? And Because big girls don't <laughs> cry. Do, do, do. I know um, what I could do. If I took it and lost weight, you know what I could do to stay in shape? <laughs> I could chase the free-range lobsters around. Right? I thought you were going to say your dog. No. Oh. oh, wait. I don't have one. You have a dog. I'll just come to your house. You can come. Yeah, you can play Buddy. Buddy's the man. Bud. 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 Wise. Err. Bud. Wise. Err. That was a Super Bowl commercial, right? <laughs> Best one yeah, ever. Yeah, it was great. It was Best pretty good. Best one ever. Whether you drink or don't drink, if you didn't like the Bud commercial, come on now. That was some good stuff. The the <laughs> guy that was downstairs watching the game and the girl was upstairs said, I got silk sheets. And then she said, I have Budweiser. He comes running up and slides right off the sheet out the door, out the window. That was pretty good, too. With Budweiser in hand. They should be a sponsor of the podcast at this point. Speaking of which, this was episode 78 of the Dave and Doc podcast. All things Dave and Doc on our website at DaveandDoc.com. That's Dave A-N-D, Doc. D-O-C dot com folks thanks for listening thank you for listening everybody canada germany united states of america appreciate y'all watch watch out for those free range lobsters watch they're out coming for at you. they're eating that corn <laughs> they're getting gassy <laughs> y'all be good how come i ate a pound of corn and a pound of corn came out it's a circle of life <laughs> see you <ya>, folks <laughs> bye